Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Aurora 4X. So today we are continuing on from what we were up to. Um, we are waiting for the spinal mount to complete and for beam fire control to, com to complete. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to start working on trying to get that mine layer working. Uh, and what I'm going to do, because it's based on missile design, I'm going to try and see if I can get it um, something along the lines of the ships that we already have, right? So first up, the closest thing that we've got is probably going to be our Sheehan class, uh, because it is going to contain magazines. So if we copy the Sheehan um, and we strip out these launchers uh let's see what we can do about adding in the mine layer so we've got the mine layer uh what kind what, what's the difference what's the difference so from the shein 355 that's not bad and yep we can build it Perfect. Okay, so we can build it as it is right now. All right, that's good. Uh, we've got a range of 35.9 billion. Um, if we change the engines, it's I can pretty much guarantee that it's not going to let us. But let's double check first. Uh, and uh, come on. Now we are going to need our own little jump drive, so we can probably use this one. How does that work for us now? 467. Eh, maybe. Yep, we can still do it that way. We can still do that. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Um, laminate composite. Oh, yes, we've got new armor since then. Okay, that's not going to let us. All right, so if we switch to laminate composite, that's going to be way too expensive. So we're going to have to... Scrap that. Because we can't go back to the original armor. So, Shein 2, copy design. And we are going to, again, strip these out. And we are going to add a mine layer. There we go. So, that is going to let us... So, the question is, <clears throat> how far can we change it before we no longer have the same ship. So if we do this, eight hundred. That's more than we upgrade the armor. So we can pretty much guarantee that that's not going to let us. And there we go. Um, what's the cost that we have to work with actually? So if we go to, if we do the math, all right. So, 3138 times 0.2 for 20%. So, the refit cost has to be less than 627.6, right? So, we've got to get the refit cost down below 600. Engines are out, so we're not going to be able to use those at all. Um, so, if we put that back in, how are we doing now? We're just the, we're just removing an engine. 635, that's a little bit over. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to keep the engines. Bummer. All right. Um, what can we do? How much, actually, how many actual boys can we put in? 100 of them. Okay, so this thing is going to be able to um, basically, you know, lay mine the Pretty much anything, right? So uh, this will function as a fairly effective general purpose mine layer as well. So uh, we'll set this to mine layer. There we go. Uh, what can we strip out? So we do want to reduce the cost, right? Uh, so we have about 300 um tonnage get difference so we don't need eccm of any kind we don't need this fire control can we strip those out and still keep it 410 yes we can 
good, good. All right. Um, what else can we do? Uh, can we add a, an additional fuel tank? Yep, that should still be acceptable. Good. Uh, we can probably add a fair amount of additional fuel tanks. 455. That's still acceptable. How are we doing? 62 billion kilometers. Yeah, so even though we're adding fuel tanks and the cost of those fuel tanks, we're adding tonnage. So the reduction in tonnage is going to be reducing the cost. But we're up to 525 now, which is still acceptable. Um, what we can do is we can reduce the cost further. Uh, how many fuel tanks do we have? We have five of them. So if we instead use these very large, which are um, less expensive, I believe, than multiples. So if we use two very large, that should be cheaper. 375. Yeah, so that's actually a lot cheaper than it is because the tonnage has gone up, but the cost is much less, right? So we've got 83 billion. Uh, can we fit another very large at the moment? 357. Yep, easily. All right, good, good, good. Uh, oh, wait, we haven't added into jump drive. Okay, we need that jump drive. How are we doing for cost? Yeah, that's going to blow it out. So we will get rid of some of these. 510. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. And how's that? 535. All right, so we should be able to build it still. Yes, we can. Excellent. Can we stick another launcher on there so we can have two? Size 150. Probably not. Yes, good. And does it still fit within the thing? Yes, it does. All right, there we go. So now we have a dual launcher mine layer that is jump capable. Um, and although it doesn't have the kind of range that I would want... In fact, the range is actually kind of atrocious and the fuel use is fairly horrible. Um, we would be able to build this um, anywhere that you can build a Sheehan. All right. So we can use this to drop drop mines and also buoys. So we don't have to retool a shipyard for this. So it's a, not as efficient, but it's definitely um, functional. Uh, maintenance life is fine as well, so, yeah, that'll, that'll do, that'll do. Um, once we retool our entire, um, Navy, then we can think about doing it a different way, but, uh, for now, we will go ahead and build ourselves a Centaur, uh, probably should rename the, the class. Okay, auto rename. Right, we still haven't fixed the racial class. Uh, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So, racial theme is Australia. So, for some reason, we've lost that. So, we'll go ahead and... Save that. Can we auto rename? There we go. But now it's picking the same names again. So what I might do is instead, we'll pick a different theme. Uh, let's try... How Steiner? There we go. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to raise the training level. I'm going to raise it to five. And what this will do is it will basically tell our 
academies to raise the bar. So um, for officers to be accredited officers, they're going to have to pass much more strict um, exams and get much higher grades. Um, same thing with crew, right? Our crew as well are going to have to pass. So the advantage is that your crewmen and junior officers, uh, that hasn't updated yet, um, the crewmen and junior officers are going to be much more skilled, which means that your crew grade, you're going to get more grade points for your officers. The disadvantage is that less, less of your officers are going to actually pass which means you're going to have less crew to work with overall. So at the moment, with a racial level of one, we have 177,000. So that should have gone ahead and reassessed them all. And now we have only 88,000. So it's reassessed the crew, and it's found that uh, almost about 90,000, so about half of our officers and crewmen are below the new grade. So they've had to go and find work elsewhere. Uh, but the remaining 88 to 89,000 crew and junior officers have successfully passed the grade and they are um, still in reserve. Um, your commanders, they are far higher ranked than crewmen and junior officers. So they pass by default. So you don't have to worry about the about these guys um, uh, about losing any of them or anything like that. So that that's fine. But although we have less crew and we get less crew per year, um, they are going to be much more skilled crew. And we're not really planning on having giant amounts of crew anyway. Um, when you are using the um, higher crew level, it is also much more important that you put your non-combat ships as conscript because conscript, uh, conscript crews, uh, conscript, sh conscript ships do not draw from this pool. So they basically hire people, you know, off the streets. Like, can you drive, can you fly a ship? Yes, you're hired. So, yeah. All right, fleet base is almost halfway done. So we will go ahead. Do we want to start construction? Yeah, might as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually rename that one to Salamander class mine layer. I like that. Okay. And that hasn't updated. There we go. Mine layer Salamander. And of course, same name. Salamander. There we go. And that's going to take a bit of time to build. So in the meantime, we will design ourselves. We're going to build ourselves some sensor boys. So 50 should be enough. Um, because we've got one, two. No, we only have one. Yeah, we, we don't really have 50 jump points to monitor. So that should be fine. So... 50 boys, create them. Good. I don't know for time. Yep, we've got plenty. So we will now start construction. Okay. All right, our freighters have completed, so we should, we've got a nice bunch of minerals that we're shipping in from Sydney, so they can sit there on Earth for a little bit longer until we get a nice build-up uh, on Sydney again, but if we go to Earth, how are we doing on minerals there? Still got a 6,000 uranium on Earth left, and a little bit of corundium as well. 
Um, we've got a stockpile of 41,000 with a projected usage of 30,000, so that's going to be problematic. Uh, thankfully, we are mining a fair amount of gera um, geranium, and once we move all of our mines, we should have uh, a reasonable production. Because we've got 300 mines here, so yeah. Uh, we shall keep going then. Oh, right, I forgot to do these. Because we've got, we've got some more uh, ruin exploitation. So what do we get? Um, unrest. We've got 4,000 wealth. So that is almost completely worthless. Uh, ah, here we go. Ruins on Newcastle A3 have been fully surveyed. And the Nathan Chamberlain's Enologist team, the alien race which have the planet identified as the followers of Durf. And the languages and Baldi have been translated. 75 grand installations have been found. So that is on Newcastle A3 here. And tech level 4. Not bad. Not bad at all. Do we have any construction brigades? Yes, we do. Perfect. And we also have the ruins of Kalgoorlie 5, which are here. And these are tech level 3. Um, Yemen hegemony, language and symbology have been translated on the 18 level 3 structures. So this one's only small. I think this is only like a small ruined outpost or something. I don't know. But we can go ahead and disband these guys. And we'll go ahead and disband these guys. Send them back to the pool. Uh, have we... Yeah, we've got... Durf, Durf, 57, do we do both in your castles? I don't know. Kalgoorlie, which is Yemen, we need to get some ground units over there. And these guys stick to Callisto. I think that's it for now. So we'll leave those alone for now and we'll wait for things to start work. Bandicoot has dropped, looks things dropped off some troops and come back home now, which is fine. Alright, what's next on the list? We have... Uh, nothing important. Civilians have built some more ships. We'll keep going. How are we doing? Sven Spinal Mount is very close, as is Beam Fire Control Range. So we're not very far off. Um, we still need the Far Ultraviolet Laser before we can upgrade our um, Beam Ships. But Shipyard Operation is not very far off either, which is going to come in extremely handy once we have to retool all the shipyards again when we upgrade our Navy. And uh, Three Sage Thermonuclear is nice. All right, all the boys have been finished, so now we're just waiting for the uh, mine layer, which will be finished on the 22nd of May, apparently. So only a few months, which is good. Camera fire is up the maintenance failure, but that's fine. Still got plenty to go. Okay. Uh, we're under a thousand for three stage and advanced spinal. We're also getting a three times multiplier pretty soon as well, which is excellent. All of our techs are wrapping up pretty quick, or pretty soon at least.
Hmm, almost. Looks like uh, the three-stage warhead is going to be finishing up before the spinal mount will be. Well, that's good. You know, better missiles. Always good to get better missile tech. <clears throat> Uh, we'll leave that alone for now. Fleet base is still at 0.58 at the moment. Still got about a year and a bit to complete. Oh, yeah. Should have finished this 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 turn. 0.3 of a research point. <clears throat> There we go. So that's three-stage nu nuclear warhead with eight times MSP of warhead strength. Uh, next one will be a cobalt war warhead with ten times. So that's uh, a bit of a higher stage than, or higher jump than the other time. But we're doing a magazine ejection system first, which will help make our missile boats safer. <clears throat> Shipyard operations should be done this cycle as well. Yep, should be done this cycle. There we go. So shipyard operations basically is how much of a reduction to this activity you will experience. So um, the less time it takes, the less min less minerals means less time, uh, and because the amount of time it takes is based on the mod rate and the cost. Um, so you can see that the cost for an extra slipway is 4,200 and the mod rate is, four, is just under 4,000. So you would expect it to be um, a little bit over a year, right? And as you can see, February 69, 21st of March. So it's, it will take a year and a month, right? So, because it, so by requiring less minerals, so less cost, you also uh, require less time as well. So uh, that's why it's cost and time savings. So either way, um, that tech is very useful because it helps you uh, retool and expand your shipyards um, faster and cheaper, which is always good. Next tech, for, next tech on the chopping block is mining production up to 25, which is going to be excellent. But that's going to take a while. That's 40,000 uh, research points away. Uh, 45 pressurized water reactors on cans. So that is, uh, I believe, ion? No. That's nuclear, that, that's nuclear thermal, I believe, um, those water reactors. So that is pretty much completely worthless to us. Bulwark anti-missile missile. Interesting. On cans, there is a missile. Huh. We're going to have to collect those. Quick, freighters. No, we need magazines. Damn it. Um, oh, well, we can't disassemble anyway. So, what we can do is... Um, I don't really want to use these at all, so I, I can scrap them for their components and their fuel and send those on their way, but we'll come back to those. Um, good thing we didn't abandon the colony, though. We would have lost 2,600 missiles. All right, uh, cans. So ECC, ECM ones are worthless. 45 pusher water reactor are worthless. Um, so... 1350 vendor right, I think they found earlier. So we'll just go ahead and scrap those. Because when... Oh, hang on. We can get tech. Power boost. But I don't really care about power boost. 
Scrap it for components. There we go. Oh, well, at the very least, we'll get um, a bit of minerals out of Sydney. No, out of Cairns. Shame. All right, Robert Aiken has finished surveying Geelong. Geelong is there, so we will get him to... Uh, we'll double check real quick. How's he doing? Robert Aiken. Fuel is good. Maintenance is good. Months is good. Out you go. How are we doing for time? 26, few more, few more minutes. We'll see what's in the other system and then we'll go from there. We'll probably put a cut in the uh, episode around that time. Alright, so engine mod times three is done, which means we can start designing much faster, more effective missiles. Um, but we have the magnetic confinement fusion reactor tech to finish first. So we are about, we're about two years. Yeah, we're a bit under two years out from that. So I think that we'll finish this. We will disassemble all the magnetic confinement um, engines that we've got. We'll finish off the magnetic uh, fusion. Yeah, I've got 10 of them. We'll finish off the magnetic fusion um, technology. And there's a, there's a chance we might still have 50,000 research points that have gone towards the reactor as well from... Uh, disassembling those previous things or from the uh, salvaging of the vessels so we'll, we'll see whether those have actually transferred so there's a very good chance that we'll only have like half of the tech to actually research ourselves but we'll, we'll see how we go so once the fusion reactor is done um, I'll do the uh, engine and then we will rework our uh, combat fleets, and by then we should have the uh, far ultraviolet laser as well, um, along with hopefully a few other techs. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll basically modernize our fleet. Uh, we've also got the advanced spinal mount, which is excellent. So we'll wait for the far ultraviolet laser to finish that. Uh, we've also got an automated mine on Newcastle A, which is great. And we'll, and Right. Newcastle A three. Newcastle A Newcastle A three. Didn't know I had anybody on Newcastle A three. Where's Newcastle A three? Oh, right. It's got it's got moved to um, automated mines. Um, so it's got an, it's got an automated mine, and it's got a lot of minerals, but a very low accessibility. So I guess that's okay. I mean, it's only producing thirty min thirty tons of minerals a year. So sure. Um, and in Cairns, they attempted to recover, but found nothing. Uh, insulation was beyond repair. So, oh well. Alright, so, we'll see what's in next tick. Uh, civilians did a lot of scrapping and building. Have we found that system yet? No. Geelong, Geelong, Geelong. Uh, it's not that far off. Thank <sighs> you. 
All right, one of our scientists has gone up to 50%. And we have lost our commander of George, of uh, Explorer George to natural causes. Damn. Uh, but Commander Nespakshuti has taken a command, has assumed command. Excellent. Or at least has gone, has been promoted. I don't think it's actually been assigned, new one has been assigned yet. No, we haven't actually had one being assigned, reassigned yet. Alright, but we should be seeing what's on the other side of that um, exploration point at the end of this cycle. And we will see how it's looking, and then we'll put a cut in the episode um, until tomorrow. Here we go. All right. What do we have? We have Lagrange points. We've got a far flung planet. We've got a lot of far flung planets. And some more so nothing to nothing too critical uh and we discovered a hundred units of infrastructure on a cans five so we're probably going to end up with um civilian shipping bringing colonists over so it's kind of annoying oh well that should be fine for now. So I'm going to put a break in the episode now, and um, uh, some of you might notice they're starting. I'm, I'm going to start a few of the let's plays. Um, they'll be on the channel, but for now, I will put put that break, and I will see you tomorrow, uh, and then we'll see what we can, what else we can discover. See you then.